Hello everyone, in this video we're going to discuss trigonometric integrals. In particular, we're going to talk about integrals involving powers of secant and tangent. So powers of secant and tangent. This is a little bit harder, or I probably should say much harder, than powers of sine and cosine. So the level of difficulty goes up pretty quickly um, compared to sine and cosine. So there's a couple of cases that are actually uh, fairly simple. The first case is if you have an even power of secant. So if the power of secant is even, You want to save a secant squared, so save a secant squared, even secant, save a secant squared, even secant, save a secant squared. It kind of, kind of rhymes. <laughs> save a secant, oh, it feels weird spelling it, secant squared. <laughs> and you would let u be tangent in this case, so u is your tangent function, because the derivative of tangent is secant squared, so that's going to be your du, basically, or secant squared dx. So even secant, save a secant squared, even secant, save a secant squared. If the power of tangent is odd, so if the power of tangent is odd, you want to save a secant tangent. So save a secant tangent. It might seem like a lot to memorize, but it's not that bad. Um, and then you let u be equal to secant. And I guess the reason I say it's not that bad is because it kind of, it just goes together. You know, even secant, save a secant squared. Odd tangent, save a secant tangent. So even secant, save a secant squared. Odd tangent, save a secant tangent. And you got this. These are the two most common cases that you typically see. Like, you know, if you're taking a class uh, in the homework problems on tests, these are the most common cases. So even secant, save a secant squared. Odd tangent, save a secant tangent. There's two more cases which are a little more challenging, which they do come up. So this one is if you have uh, a lone, I just wanted to use that word, <laughs> a lone even power of tangent. like tangent squared, or tangent to the fourth, or even even worse, tangent to the sixth, let's, let's not go there, tangent to the tenth power, <laughs> uh, and, and no secants. So just an even power of tangent by itself. Something like this, you want to use identities. So use identities. The identity you want to use is 1 plus tan squared is equal to secant squared. That means that um, that would mean that uh, tan squared is equal to secant squared minus one. So you want to rewrite it and, and just keep going, and then just see what you can come up with, right? Just go with it. Uh, it takes it takes a bit of work. The fourth case is a really famous case. It's if you have a lone odd power of tangent. So a lone. This is a famous case, and I'll talk about why it's famous in a minute. A lone odd power. Of ten, of oh, sorry, of secant. I misspoke. A lone odd power of secant. In this case, um, you use parts. Use parts. The classic example here is the integral of secant cubed. I first saw this in a differential equations class, actually, and I had never seen it in in Calc two. But it is a Calc two problem. This is so famous that it's on Wikipedia. Like, this integral has its own Wikipedia entry, okay? So, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's kind of sneaky. But you have to kind of see it done in order to know how to do it. But basically, you use parts. You use parts twice. It's a special uh, type of integral. Like, it ends up, you end up using parts twice, and you get the same thing, and then you, just, you, just, you do a trick. So, let's go ahead and do a simple example of the more basic ones. You know, in the videos that follow, uh, depending where you're watching this video, uh, you'll see examples. You'll see secant cubed, and you'll see other things. 
Um, let's go ahead and do a simple example, though. Uh, how about the integral of, um, I don't know, let's do secant to the fourth x uh, tangent um, squared x. So in this case, we have an even secant, so we're going to save a secant squared. So let's do that. So the first step will be to pull out a secant squared. So we'll have secant squared x tangent squared x, and we're saving a secant squared. That, that's all I memorize. Even secant, save a secant squared. Odd tangent, save a secant tangent. In theory, if you just memorize that, then you can kind of reason everything else. That way you're memorizing the least amount of information possible, uh, and you're learning it better. So we've saved the secant squared. So because we did that, that means our, our u has to be tangent, because the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So I'm going to go ahead and write that here. u is tan x. Just, just to help myself. So that's okay. right? No problem there. But that's not okay. Because u is tan x. So we know secant squared is 1 plus tan squared. So this is equal to the integral of 1 plus tan squared x tan squared x secant squared x dx. So now we're in a good place. Okay, now we're, we're ready to make our substitution because we have all our tangents here. So du is secant squared x dx. And now let's make that u sub. So this will be equal to 1 plus u squared. And then uh, u squared du. Beautiful. Really, really nice. So again, even secant, save a secant squared. Then you have to think here, okay, you saved a secant squared. That means u must be tangent. So, okay, that's good. That's no good. we got to get rid of it. we got to make it a tangent. So we use an identity, make it a tangent. Now we're good. So now we compute our du. We make our u sub, and life is good. Let's distribute this u squared. This will be u squared plus u to the fourth, and then we have our du. Then we just integrate using the power rule. So it will be u cubed over 3 plus u to the 5 over 5 plus c. And then u was tangent of x. So we get tan cubed x over 3 plus uh, tangent to the 5 x over 5 plus c. And that would be the final answer. Uh, I had a thought. What if, what if we had secant to the 4th tangent cubed? Then you could have saved a secant tangent. And what happens is, when you have something like this, you could do it two different ways. And you'll get two different answers. And they won't look the same, but they actually are. So, so like, it's okay. Um, you could probably make them the same via, like, a ton of work. <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to try it. So sometimes you get integrals and you can do them multiple ways. And the answers are different, but apparently they're equivalent. So just keep that in mind. If you had something like a 3 here, you could have saved a secant tangent. And you could have done it that way as well. So... I hope this video uh, has been helpful, and the most important thing you should take away from this video is even secant, save a secant squared, odd tangent, save a secant tangent. And remember, for powers of sine and cosine, save a copy of the odd one. Good luck.